when Jesus Christ says there's life after death and then dies and then rises from the dead based on his historical resurrection. In today's video, Pastor Cliff tackles one of the biggest challenges skeptics raise, the reality of Jesus' resurrection. With clear biblical truth and analysis, he dismantles the doubts surrounding this pivotal event in history. If you've ever questioned or been asked about the resurrection, stay tuned as Pastor Cliff provides answers that affirm the foundation of our faith. What do you make of the other afterlife possibilities from other religions? Do you dismiss them as inaccurate, wrong, beside the point? Great question. When Jesus Christ says there's life after death, and then dies and then rises from the dead, based on his historical resurrection, I am able to trust him that indeed there is life after death because of his resurrection. So it was a literal, literal res resurrection, as there, some feel that it was a metaphor. Absolutely correct. You're right. Many f ministers in Protestant churches, and I happen to be a minister in a Protestant church, many of my minister colleagues will say, Cliff, you got to realize, the resurrection of Jesus is just a symbol that in the spring, the daisies and other flowers come up and hope springs eternal. And it's a feeling. But when you go to the Gospels, when you go to 1 Corinthians 15, it is unmistakable. We saw this Jesus risen from the dead. And a dude Thomas said, ah, ah, you say you saw him, not until I see him, not until I can put my hands in the nail prints in his hands, not until I can take my hand and thrust it in the spear in his side will I believe. And one night all the apostles were together, including Thomas, and suddenly Jesus stands among them, and Jesus walks right up to him and says, my man right here, take your hand and put it in the nail prints in my hands. Take your hand and thrust it in the spoon in my side. And Thomas stopped doubting and believed. And Thomas hits the floor and says, my Lord and my God, now, sir, if I'm going to have any type of intellectual integrity in dealing with that text, I have to tell you, sir, the text says Jesus physically rose from the dead. That's clearly the point of that text. That's an interpretation. That's the point of the text. Well, it's open to interpretation. Yours is a literal. Anything's open to interpretation. This gentleman standing here is open to interpretation. I can interpret that he's a bad dream I'm having right now. I can interpret he's really here. My point is, be careful the way you interpret. Look at the evidence. The evidence is, he's not a bad dream I'm having. He's not a good dream I'm having. He really is here. I touch him, I've heard him, I've talked with him. He's really here. And yet he's mostly open space. If you go he's down mostly to the open space. structure, yes. If we're made up of atoms and atoms are mostly open space, then we are psychological manifestations of an infinite mystery. Well, I know very well that if I keep on traveling this fist right through there, it's not going to go through open space. It's going to hurt this man. That's why I'm not going to do it. Are you going to disregard science? I'm not disregarding science, but I'm not going to buy into some theoretical idea that really what he is is open space. No, he has a real body here, and I respect his body. That's why my fist stops here. It doesn't keep on swinging. He appears to be some. As we've seen today, the resurrection of Jesus is not just a matter of faith, but of historical reality. The evidence is compelling, and the truth stands firm against any challenge. We encourage you to dive deeper into the Word, to strengthen your faith, and to boldly share the hope we have in Christ. Thank you for watching, and may the truth of the resurrection continue to transform your life. Don't forget to share your feedback and subscribe to this channel for more content.